<clears throat> have you achieved your 2018 goals and how? 2018 was a very, very difficult year for a lot of people. But my goal for 2018 was to build a brand, work on the marketing, build up a social media presence, start all the YouTube and Instagram and Twitter and LinkedIn platforms, really pushing them hard. And um, that in turn would get the phones ringing and that would bring the deal flows in. I think all the hard work, what was put in, in 2018, is paying off now. What are your goals going into 2019? How are you actively pursuing them? The goals for 2019, so, is building the team up. So we, we brought in our new architectural team, so Susanna. We brought in Russ, obviously end of last year, project coordinator. Tess, managing the office, yourself, Mohammed, you know, getting all these good people around me to support what I put in front of everyone. I'm the, the brand, marketing, sales, entrepreneur, getting everything moving, and um, you know, that will generate traffic through um, new leads, and then obviously what we need to do is see as many new people as possible and close as much as possible as well. Project last year, 2018, which, which was particularly difficult, not really, but obviously in construction, there's no such thing as an easy uh, construction project because what will go wrong does go wrong. You know, there's a thousand million different things. When you do a basement, so technical. You know, and organ organising the trains to come in at the right time to do the proper job to make sure they liaise with the project managers and the architects and the structural engineers and the quantity surveyors. It's like blending them together. Sometimes it's a miracle, but that's what we're good at. New is very, very good at managing people. Is there anything you're especially excited about? We are very excited about the future. You know, I always say, every day in the land of new, I have got a lottery ticket. And this lottery ticket can make a fortune. You know, it's just, a, I'm just a very, very good at generating opportunities. And I don't know whether the next phone call is going to be for a loft conversion or the next first phone call is going to be to build nine houses in Kingston. I don't know. All I know is very exciting. Not one day is the same and uh, I just get excited about what could happen today. You know, 2019, 2020, 2021. You know, we are going to be back up to the very, very pinnacle of luxury design and construction in London. In your expertise, what would you recommend to anyone who's looking to add value to their house? My tips, depending on budget, obviously, if it hasn't got a basement, build a basement. You know, that is going to be the one thing which is going to add a million quid to your house in Fulham. 2 million in Chelsea, 3 million in Belgravia for building a, a thousand square foot basement. If it's not the basement, then the side return, loft conversion, pod room. If it's none of those, great interior design. You know, making sure the kitchen's lo lovely, the bedrooms are nice, the en suites, the internal layouts. These are all things that add value to your property. Adding square footage or adding value through design. They're my two top tips for creating extra revenue on your house. What does the market look like going into 2019? The market in 2019, I just think it's a hell of a lot better than it was 
um, in 2018 and in 2017. Already in 2019, things have changed. You know, the phones are going, people want to spend money, people want to add value to their house. You know, they're fed up of hearing about Brexit. Now, they're just going to be, you know, what would be would be, but you know, are the market in 2019 to low to mid range properties is going to be good. But I think our niche will be properties from maybe 1 million to 5 mil. How would you define being an entrepreneur? I have known nothing different to what I am now. You know, I've always been exactly the same. I've always had, I've always dreamed high and always just done things my own way. Um, you know, I am a, I am a real entrepreneur. I'm never satisfied until I've given it a go. So if I have an idea, you know, I execute on the idea instantly. I don't wait and think about it and dwell on it. Oh, is it gonna work? Isn't it not gonna work? Literally, if I have an idea, I'm on it like that. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, who gives a shit? You've tried. Uh, there's millions of people out there, they think about it, but they do not execute on their dreams. What does success look like to you? Success, to me, as I get older, I don't think it's anything to do with money. It's to do with happiness. I think, again, being an entrepreneur and me being who I am and me being a 48-year-old man, I've been through the ups and downs and trials and tribulations, so I know how good it can be and I know how bad it can go very, very quickly. So I think it's just a middle ground. You know, I love what I do. I love work. Even when, you know, the phones aren't ringing, I get a buzz trying to get them to ring. So I think the key to happiness is just enjoying your work.